is me playing with this new camera. Oh. This is the first day up here at uh, Bob's place. Hanging out with the wood beard and stuff. And I'm tired. It's a lot of walking. And climbing and blind building and eating mulberries. And stuff. I think going pretty good for him. He's uh We just got one thing we could get over. I'm having a blast though. Just wanted to put that on there. So, yeah. I hope y'all can hear me. Um, this is the San Antonio River. Over here, um, adjacent to my host's property. Um, the hog hunting back up in there a couple, three hundred yards. Uh, light wasn't up enough. Anyway, long story short, we're still hog hunting. Uh, I'm going to put a couple of cast lines out, drop lines, whatever, uh, bank lines real quick and see if I can catch a fish or something while I'm down here. I'm going to post up uh, in a little jury rig blind and I'm going to spend the day trying to shoot hogs. I am uh, carrying in more than my fair share of firepower. So, uh, but it's, I'm bringing in uh, an AR-15 and a uh, Ruger 270 and if they come into the crew I can, I've got about a, I've got up to a, about 125 yards down the down this creek right here uh, so if they come if they go down into that creek bottom to wallow anywhere I can I've got clear clear air I can get them with the 270, and if they come up through the trees or whatever, well, I got two 30 round clip, and we'll see what we can do. Most of the stuff I'll do will be voiceover. Oh, okay. uh, and actually, if you want to be over there doing stuff, that's perfectly fine. I think it's more dynamic. I'll, than like it, any of the, like the kitchen cooks and stuff, any of the behind the scenes stuff that I have, I'll be doing it. Yeah. I won't release until oh, you release yours. Uh, I don't mind, to be honest. Because I feel like if I make a, a good enough production, I think people will watch. Trust me, your production's kick mine's butt. Well, that's right, like, not, yeah, I mean, if you do a good job, people are gonna watch yours. If I do a good job, people are gonna watch mine. And there's no reason we, we both can't do a good job. Those mesquite roots are gonna make some coals, buddy. Oh, I know. Do we need to, do I need to carry that skillet down to the that Dutch oven down and wash it at the creek. I don't mind. We can wash it here. Well, I'll take it down there and put some of that river sand in it and some water, scrub I'm it around, and then rinse it out. Sand in it. Huh? Because uh, if there's any any amount of oil in there, no, it'll stick to the oil, and you'll never get the sand. I've done that mistake once before. If there's any oil in it, you wash it with sand. The sand sticks in the oil, and then you have grit, Ooh. permanent. I, I did that once, not good. Well, we can burn it out. I need to get the, the oil and stuff. You need to do the... I would just, 
I would just uh, put the oil right in there. Look, it's an armored rat. These weren't meant to be washed, were they? Yes, this is the armadillo we were cleaning. This is the knife that I keep sharp. This is my thumb. I've got the bleeding pretty much stopped now. But all you guys that want to know whether or not you ought to keep a uh, trauma kit or whatever in your bug out bag, thank you, Sippy. The answer is yes. Uh, my cameraman, the ever amazing uh, Woody Beardsman back there, is uh, I was helping him out. I was skinning this thing and I cut my finger. And we had just got there having a conversation about how many of these animals carry leprosy. <laughs> so uh, it's not exactly something I want to mingle my blood with. Uh, so we're <laughs> we're going to squeeze all the alcohol out of this alcohol wipe into the end of my finger. I'm going to bandage it up. I let it, I washed it with clean water and let it bleed for a good little bit. But people, it's you need more than band-aids and triple antibiotic ointment. This could have just as been easy been all the way down. You're doing stuff like this, it cut the skin off the animal, it could have cut a lot more than the end of my thumb off. Get you a trauma kit. This has alcohol, antibiotic, it's got big it's, I've even thrown some stuff in here to sew myself up and the answer is still no I will not show you all what's in my bug out bag. It came out of my bug out bag that's all you get. It's West S, stay alive, <laughs> don't die of uh, armadillo leprosy. <laughs> Peace.